Hi guys, this is Lee with the Market Sense for the week of March 9th, 2021. The charts in this presentation come from the Trade Navigator software, which is provided by Genesis. It's a weekly bond market chart here, and you can see last week worked a little bit lower than the previous week, but kind of just sort of did the same thing, and then this week has remained inside of that also. Uh, we do have a possibility of seeing them down to 154, 28, 29, somewhere down there. But I really think staying inside of last week's bar is probably the most likely scenario. That could lead them as high as, uh, this is I think 159, 29? Yeah. Uh, could go at least that high. That would still leave them inside the last week. And that's kind of what I expect to see. I expect to see, you know, maybe two, three more bars even of sideways here. Let the market either consolidate this move down for another leg down or maybe form a base to come back up. Uh, let them decide. But they've kind of got to make up their mind a little while, I think. So I'm expecting a little bit of sideways in here. It's it's fascinating to see this market go down so hard when they're fighting the Fed all the way to do it. And that's really, that's a great indication of why how it's so important to trade liquid markets because even somebody with as much money as the fed can't push a liquid market around it's kind of great to see actually in stocks uh, this is kind of interesting the s p and the nasdaq look quite a bit different here um, last week we got a, a, a fair break that recovered eh, there was quite a bit of volatility last week they actually they they were all over the place during the week it's worse than what it looks like here but they still did manage to come back and, and close above the middle of the range, which is, you know, a positive sign. We are looking uh, at support possibly being as low as 3737 down here. But what they've done is this is the 3795 is this moving average. And the low of the week so far is 96. Uh, that's a good possibility that that's it. Um, 3860 could have been resistance, doesn't appear to be. So I'm kind of expecting them up here into the 39, 30 to 35 area. And I say I'm expecting that. I am. That's what I think they'll do. But if they don't, if they just stay inside of last week's range, that won't be terribly surprising either. Uh, again, this weekly range doesn't look as volatile as it really was. The, on a daily basis, they were up and down pretty good. So they could just take a little time off and... and get a little sideways in here. But if anything, I would expect them to move higher and uh, 39, 30 to 35 is what I think is a reasonable target. Now, if we look at the QQQ to represent the NASDAQ, you can see the price pattern looks quite a bit different than that S&P does. They were uh, a fair amount weaker last week, although they didn't close below everything. They were still pretty doggone weak. And this is what I, I say often, that's very possible. These markets don't have to go together. The indices don't. They can trade in opposite directions. But they're not good. we're not going to get a big directional move in the stock market until all the major indices agree. And so what we have here is so far this week inside of the previous week, no big deal there, uh, would, uh, would think support it's in the, say, the 296 area, but they may not get there because last week closed sort of in the middle of the range, so they, they may not go any lower. They may just be starting up. Kind of looks like the 320 area, just above 320, is likely resistance. I certainly can't rule out seeing them up 330 here, up at the upper moving average, but I think 320 is probably a good target for the week. And um, as I mentioned with the bonds, they could get up to 320, and that would still although a fairly large week, still be inside of the previous week. And it is quite possible that this market's going to take some time to uh, pick a direction. At this point, just a couple bars down, as big as these bars are, there's nothing terribly negative about this. Uh, everything still looks reasonably good. So I would expect them to at least see 320 this week, maybe even a little higher. So that's what we've got for you today. I hope you can find something profitable to get yourself into. Thanks for checking in to see what we're looking at.